Well, it was bye-bye to Portland, and we was airborne. Hey, man! One, two, one, two, three, four!
mud in the dugout as well. <laughs> come on, scoot down. Scoot. Scoot, come on. Can they move Corey? It's fine. Corey doesn't have a seat. <laughs> Corey, we remember this time now, but next time you get the best seat, okay? Yeah. The best one. You get, Corey gets first shot at the next time we sit down, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we made it. Take it in, boys. Blames poor PA. Home <laughs> of all the greats. Years from now, this is all you'll be talking about. Picture it. Picture it in your brains, kids. You'll be sitting at the bar. It's ladies' night. <laughs> it's ladies' night. <laughs> then you'll be sitting there drinking away at the bar. Steel Horse, the Bon Jovi tribute band, has just finished their set. <laughs> A tremendous set. <laughs> oh, oh. Living on a... Prayer. You're good. One for one. <laughs> 7th grade Muppets Club will be standing nearby. They'll be chipping and chattering. They'll be saying, what? Is that what you think it is? And they'll be like, I don't know who you think it is. And you'll be like, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to open up the big And then they'll be in the corner, right? And they'll be saying, oh, me? Corey Chesman? Only the greatest picture Cumberland County's ever seen? Is this it, my friends? This is all you'll be talking about for the rest of your lives. <laughs> Nothing else, just this. God, I hope not. Let me tell you boys about the time the great Bunky Huggins struck out 16 batters in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. He was thrown fire that day. You know, they called him the fire thrower. I mean, I called him the fire thrower. Somebody, uh, the laymen, the peons, call it the uh, San Francisco city slicker. But you see, Coach O'Neill had a bit of a list back then, so I stuck with the fire thrower. <laughs> I'm sorry, something funny about a list? Uh, no, no. Yeah? Would you be yucking it up if you saw the thousand dollar speech pathology bills I wrapped up? <laughs> Would you be laughing to see that in the 70s, the stigma against speech impediments was much more harsh than it is today? <laughs> Let me ask you something. Have you seen Argo? Because that's exactly what happened to speech impediment in the 70s. <laughs> we made a big move. I'm not even going to <laughs> So, I call him the fire truck. Anyway. Funky Huggins. It's in the playoffs, striking out 60 batters. The ultimate face-off of that game. Funky standing on the mound for San Francisco. We got Pittsburgh's Carl Dermott at the plate. There's a bit of a history between two of these guys. You know what I'm saying? A bit of a uh, geometry. So, you take some <laughs> parallel lines, and you go back in time. Fire <laughs> like that here, they had a bit of a spat. A spit spat, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and the dugout. Two of them got into a fight. Some, some of the top. Which is better, Fraggle Rock or The Muppet Show? <laughs> I don't know, man. Times were different back then. It's kind of like Taxi Driver, you know? You control the streets and be nothing but filth. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Donkey takes a baseball, the ball most commonly found in a dugout. <laughs> he picks it up, throws it over a third and gets square in the forehead. Now Durbin knocked straight out. You guys follow this? In the same dugout. They all, they're on the same team. <laughs> so now flash forward when they're on different teams, right? Well, not like to the present, more like kind of to the less past. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you ever see Looper? <laughs> kind of like Looper. Oh, you guys are going to be lost this Oscar season. <laughs> you flash forward, and now Bunky's on the mound, right? Now old Bunky's like, Gonna do it for Fraggle Rock. He says a prayer to Frank Goss. <laughs> <laughs> and then Durbin at the plate's like, Muppet Show all the way. <laughs> and then the umpire's like, Telekinesis? <laughs> because they're inner monologues, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Bunky gets into his motion, right? Bunky's got a nice heater, okay? 
<laughs> so, Brendan, what's something interesting in your bag, pal? You got, you got something in there you want to share with the rest of us? Maybe a Tamagotchi? What are you playing? <laughs> <laughs> is, it, uh, is it moving everywhere? <laughs> uh, baseball bat. It's funny because you don't use that in the game. <laughs> Excuse me? Sorry, coach. <laughs> now, are you baseball ready? Yeah. Yeah, what? You want me to say it? <laughs> okay, um, I'm baseball ready, coach. <laughs> <laughs> so now that Brendan's ready, we're going to start the story back. <laughs> Got a real nice eater, right? <laughs> he leans in, he winds up, throws it right past Durbin. Durbin didn't know what hit him. Strike one. Durbin says to himself, you know what? If I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down swinging. So he takes his bat and he's like, this is only symbolism. It wasn't a clip from the bat. <laughs> so he takes his bat and goes, I'm gonna go down ahead. And Funky gets a little fancy. He throws him a curveball the next pitch. Now, none of you guys throw curveballs. Because I was on the WebMD yesterday, and if you throw one curveball in your life, you'll have full body arthritis. <laughs> I read that, actually. I bookmarked it, and then I printed it out just in case the bookmark didn't last. <laughs> right next to all my Garfield cards. He loves lasagna. <laughs> just like old Coach O'Neill. <laughs> Anyways. So that one of them count. Okay? Need I remind you? <laughs> and he goes, I'm still a hitter. He's all over the place, but I'm gonna go down swinging. Tips the pitch back into the stands. Got a one two count. Next pitch, tips it again. Wouldn't you know it into the stands? My friends, there were more foul tips during this at bat than there was at a Jewish kid's bris. It's if it's if the rabbi knows karate, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Next pitch, Funky just Kareem Abdul Jabbar's it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and it bounces halfway between it, and the umpire's like, what is going on? That's a ball. <laughs> got a two to account. The very next pitch, Funky's got this like extra ball in his back pocket. I don't know, he used to call it his pickle ball. It was weird because he used to say, you leave it in the jar for long enough, it stinks. You know what I'm saying? He took out his pickle ball. If you don't believe me, look it up, okay? This is all in the books. He throws him that weird pitch, and also a ball. What kind of count do we got now? Two and three. Switch them around. Three and two. There you got it. <laughs> <laughs> What's another name for that? Okay. Yes. What we just did there were synonyms. <laughs> <laughs> and the would have been an empty count. <laughs> so we got a full count. Bottom of the ninth, and we got the two men on. <coughs> Monkey's leaning in. I want this. I want this. Carl at the plate. You got this. You got this. He lifts up his leg, lifts it up with me. Interactive learning. I didn't get my GED for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and he steps in and fires it past Durbin. It was a strikeout. And that, my friends, was one out. <laughs> And that's my favorite memory of my life. <laughs> now, what am I doing? I'll see you guys in the locker room. Great job, Corey. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up? Um, <laughs> I was thinking that, uh, you know, because it's a World Series and all that stuff, that you, uh, you don't actually have to play me in this game. I can, I can still run the bench. Ha! <laughs> like you! <laughs> really considerate of you, pal, but I wasn't thinking about starting you anyway, you know? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, Dad, I was thinking maybe the Sox, you'd get some that have, like, pipelines, right? It's like, like the majors. I'll see you in the locker room, okay?